mean, I apologize if you're sterile. <laughs> wow, wow. If she's sterile, you apologize. Well, I said if. I said if. Here, now say some funny stuff. So, my great, 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 great grandfather, his name was Eleanor Roosevelt. That's right, I said his name. See, what happened was, Eleanor was born a female. But Eleanor later converted to a male. Let's hear it for Kloppenberg! I dream of a day when this weasel over here is out of office. What office? The governor's office. Any office. You know what? That's what the old cops We will switch the office to a cell. Oh. I'll, I'll move my invisible microphone. How's it going? See, one thing the GOP doesn't understand is that when you disobey the law, you get locked up in jail. Woo! And one day, they're going to figure that out. But you know what? Grossman and Fitzgerald can share a cell. I can't hear you. Can you put your mouth closer to the microphone, please? I said, Grossman and Fitzgerald can share a cell. That, time, that way, every time they have to use the bathroom, they have to look at each other. <laughs> and we'll see who's a slob then. We'll see who's a slob then. It won't be me, I'll tell you that. It won't be my great, 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 great uncle, Eleanor Roosevelt, who started out as a woman, but later had a change to become a man. There was once a time when I spoke on that assembly floor up there, and I said, if you have badger pride, then you will get the gopher, and you will crush the gopher, and the gopher will be no more. But then the gophers revolted, and they had me recalled. And I was no longer able to speak at photos with invisible microphones like this one. <laughs> but you know what I said? I said democracy works. You just have to vote. And that has nothing to do with ghosts or gophers or badgers or invisible podiums. That has to do with your future and the future of your children. Excuse me, ma'am. We care about your children's future. We do. Even if you're sterile. My name is Jeff Fitzgerald. I am the speaker of the assembly. The voice you hear is. I do not care about anything that any of you have to say. If you want rights, that's fine. Move to Illinois. But you're not going to have roads like you have in Wisconsin. If you want to have a voice, that's fine. Find an invisible podium. I believe in fascism and Marxism and anything but democracism. You all have one vote. But really, unless you vote Republican, you have no votes because J.B. Van Hollen is sending DCI agents to polling places. How do I know this? I'm Jeff Fitzgerald. And I don't care what you have to say. You talk to me about minorities, I don't know what a minority is. The only minority I know is the Democrats. That's right. 
many people think it's I grew up in a little farm town where the only racial ethnicity I saw was black cows and white cows and spotted cows. And red horses and brown horses and black horses. And my brother Scott's horse farm. Scotty, you want to come over here? See, my brother Scott got me where I am today. And I have him to thank for everything. And this guy named Alec. Alec, Alec provided everything for me. My name's Jeff Fitzgerald, folks. I don't care about your rights. Have a nice day. This guy named Alec. Hey, my name's Jeff Fitzgerald. I don't care about your rights, sir. As I speak at my invisible podium. I realize I'm going to jail eventually. But you know what? I'm going to try to destroy as many of your lives as possible before I do it. Why? Because democracy is dead. In God we trust. No, it's in Alec we trust. And don't worry, we'll have our currency changed pretty soon here, folks. Now you can whine, and you can complain, and you can moan all you want. But I am only going to talk to my supporters. How's it going, officers? My name's Jeff Fitzgerald. I don't care about your rights or your future, your pensions or your salaries. But you know what? They do have a physical agility. The protesters care. And that's why we restrict their freedoms. That's why we don't want them on the first floor. Why? Because when I'm standing from this invisible podium with this invisible microphone, I can't look down on them if they're on this floor. I can't say, hey you, little ant, go fetch me a coffee. Hey you, slob, over there. Hey, I'm Jeff Fitzgerald. I don't care about your rights. I don't care about your children. And I like to kill disabled. Get me a coffee. This is blackmail right here. So we... I went to BOC to be away, but we still had to apply for the job. Oh, yeah. I have a dream. As Jeff Fitzgerald. That one day, the only people left in this state will have above $500,000 a year. I'm Jeff Fitzgerald. I don't care about your rights. Nice to meet you. I'm excited. That one day, everyone who makes less than $500,000 a year and all the disabled and all the children will just die. That's what I want as Jeff Fitzgerald. Excuse me, ma'am. My name is Jeff Fitzgerald. And I don't care about rights. I don't care about the Constitution. The reason we had to make copies to put up there was because I used to rest this toilet paper. Really, to be honest with you, I don't care what any of you have to say. <laughs> but I'm going to continue to be Jeff Fitzgerald. And I'm going to continue to flex my muscle. Why? Because growing up I got picked on. So now I like to pick on everyone else. Thank you. God bless Alec. And God bless the Koch brothers. Have a wonderful day. Are you done, Jeremy? Yes, I'm done being Jeff Fitzgerald. <laughs>